And just a random question there, if you know. Um, if you were, like, there's, there's, five, there's five in the group, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So if you were an animal, what, okay, if you were an animal, right? Yeah. What part would each of you be? I'm oh, not I don't sure. Know about that, yeah. But, interesting fact about animals is chameleons don't change their colour for, um, for disguise. They change it depending on their mood. Yeah, that's true. So, um, so sometimes if they're really angry, they go, yeah, <laughs> You got, okay, yeah, yeah, I was just like, it's like getting a bit of a nosebleed now, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah, we'll, right, we'll, right. we'll pass around the tissues in a second, yeah. So if they're really angry, they go bright pink, which is really, uh, yeah. it's confusing to the other, the like animal that they're yeah. bright, like. Mood ring. Yeah. Nature's, you'd be, Nature, so, nature's so you'd be, mood ring. So you'd you were be, looking at chameleon fact earlier. Okay, <laughs> okay, right, okay, cool, that works. Okay, you're chameleon. Yeah. Okay. Tail, leg. Um, I'm going to say... Tongue. Tongue. <laughs> I, I, I would be... Um, I would be the third eyelash on the left eye. Okay, cool, yeah. that works, that works. Yeah. <laughs> we, we can't answer for the others. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> you, know, they're you know, a very deep question they would have to answer themselves. I know. I, and so tell us about the fist fights uh, and who starts them. Yeah, bad period of um, our band's Very existence distant. was, was fistfights. Um, <laughs> a brawl erupted in the Ansley house one day. It's not like it happens every show or anything. Yeah. Stephanie's just a mean drunk. She, she's, she's <laughs> Jack Daniels. She, she, she's a taskmaster, yeah. you know. And she's a diva too, so you know, bottles start flying at people's heads. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's gotten, us, it's gotten us where we are today. Good times. <laughs> All right. And when is your album coming, coming out? Um, well, we're not actually making an album at the moment. We're making an EP. Right. Um, so we're still working on it, but we think January, hopefully January. Yeah. Fingers crossed, yeah. Yeah. Um, all things go, we're going to plan at the minute, and we're on schedule to release in early 2010. True. So January, maybe February, if things go a bit pear shaped. Yeah. If Stephanie hits one of us, for example, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, is that why the other they're, they're missing today? Or, or is they're, they're actually in Tala Hospital. Oh, if, right. <laughs> if, um, I got the Lewis. If you want, if you want to pop in, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Live uh, from Tala Hospital. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and you're just you're just unbelievable. Uh, and when when can we see you live? When can we see your next gig? And okay, eighth, eighth when of November. November in, um, eighth of November. The Globe on. Was it Georgia Street? Yeah, okay. we're playing in the Globe in Georgia Street on the eighth of November. But okay. you can we've all our live listings and. Um, our schedule up on murderplan.com. Yep. So yeah, check it out there. Okay, That's the guys. place to go. Good. Okay. Yeah. Right, guys, I want to say thank you very much for coming on. Thanks show. for having us. Yeah, okay, Colin, thank, thank you, you very much. Best of luck, right. Steve. Okay. All right, oh, thanks yeah. for coming. Thanks, Carl. Thanks. 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 <laughs> okay, that was... I always slag me every time I come on stage, you know? I'm gonna knock him when I get out of here now. Okay, now coming up on the show, our next guest on the show um, is Natura B. Uh, it's recently released its first single album called I'm Feeling You. Uh, this was done in 2000 and, uh, 2009, in May. The video is currently receiving a regular airtime um, air on channel AKA. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us to welcome our next guest on the show, Natura B. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Fantastic. Hi. Yeah, one more. Come yeah, on, one more. Yeah. 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 Amazing, man. We love your video, man. Thank that you. was Thank class. You, Thank you know, you, you know, you. it's really, really encouraging. Now, um, tell us about yourself. Um, well, I'm not sure B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, it's just on 18. Um, into R&B and hip hop right now in Ireland. So, it's it's, it's been crazy. Um, I could just say I'm the only one right now, you know, into this kind of stuff right now in the island, so it's, it's really hard. Yeah. You know, it's really hard. So you're busy, you're really busy. Yeah, really yeah? busy. Great, that's brilliant. That's good. Now, um, in 2008, you were spotted by a manager from Spain Fire, is it, yeah? yeah. See. Now tell us about how, how were you, you know, how were you discovered by, you know, by the managers and mm. you know, this kind of stuff? Yeah, basically, back in 2004, I was, I discovered that you know music was kind of my thing, so <clears throat> so I would, um, I was in a group, so we were doing rapping. I was rapping back then, and people would say, "Oh, you should sing, not rap." No, I want to sing. I mean, I want to rap. I don't want to sing. So we kind of started from there. So words was around. I was selling CDs, you know, just three tracks on it. I was selling CDs or for free, just giving the people if they want. Just to promote. What yeah, you're just doing. to promote what I'm doing, just to get a feedback. And then he heard 
Hola, it was when he heard about, no, this guy called Bio somewhere, you know, let's bring him in. And so basically I was part of the group. It was a big kind of group. So I was like the least one, the tiny one, mm. you know, the little, the kid. Yeah. Yeah. I was a kid in there. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't like, really, I didn't, here. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't really do much, but I was always around yeah. them, you know, so it kind of helped me to, you know, grow a bit. To, and, to and I learned yeah. a lot of stuff, you Stay know. In. Yeah, and we did a couple of shows together where they would bring me on just to come and dance and you know, yeah. stuff like that. So it was cool, it was pretty cool. So, that speed gets fire, more exposed yeah, and, you know, more exactly. So, as yeah, well. definitely. Uh, we try, I know you have a lot of questions. I for do, him, man. Well. I've got big mouths, you know me. <laughs> and you got, you know, and you, you're, 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 uh, you're, I like your top, by the way. Is this top? Yeah, like the, top? The, the, the blue one. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it brings up my eyes. I would rock that, yeah. I like your shoes. Thank you. That's a different show. Oh, that's nice. a different show. Oh, but uh, cool. what was your what was your most memorable gig? Um, uh, what, was your, be, what was your most memorable gig? Had sorry. to be the one with Tyler Cruz when he came to Ireland, and I was speaking to you know to warm up his heart and stuff. There was a lot of people. I mean, I was physically just like, mm. oh my God, you know. Yeah. Really nervous I can and, never forget because I was really nervous. Yeah. And I went up and the girls were just like, oh my God, like, I know him, he's famous. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh my God. And afterwards I had yeah. girls like, oh, what's your Bieber, what's your name? I'm like, really? Oh yeah, that, this is cool. I mean, yeah. I can get used to this. Great, so, good times. For, for me. <laughs> and you knew that was your thing from then on. <laughs> exactly, Music's like, my oh, thing. <laughs> I'm so into this. So that was, that was my biggest, you know, um, memory. What, what, what year was that? That was last year or a year and a half now. Right. So I was Roller good. coaster then, yeah. Yeah. Time. It's, from then it's just been awesome. Mm. And what's awesome. your favorite? Uh, what's what's your favorite aspect of being uh, in a musician? Being a musician, I think it will be. I have to actually. I think it will be when I'm actually writing the song, because it's kind of weird, because it just kind of just come on you. It's like you just pick up the pen and listen. Like, hmm. Mm. It's magic. You can't. Yeah. You can never spend. And the other one is. Um, Hearing people sing my song, actually, like hearing people actually sing it and they know the words, they know the lyrics, yeah. is, is awesome. You, you give them something to people, like, yeah, you know, take like, it away with them, yeah? Um, and what, is, uh, what, what do you do on your days off? I mean, you just constantly write, you love, you're doing what you love, so you just, you can't see just, oh, it's a tune, you know, and you're like taking things down and that. On the day off, I will be playing my PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> we have to do that. Yeah. Or I'll be playing football. Yeah. Or the favorite one, I'll be sleeping. Because, yeah. you know, all night yeah. studio time, so I love sleeping. Sleeping, music, outing, it's just crazy. Yeah. But mostly, sleeping. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good life. Sleeping. That's a good life. Um, <laughs> a little bit about your education background. What is it like for you? Um, it was, I, um, when I came in 2004, I was in the secondary school, which was in Navan. It was kind of weird, because there wasn't too much people of my color, so, and I was into music, so and everybody knew that. So it was, it was kind of weird. But then I finished, and then I went to college mm. in Dundalk. So school for me is good, and it's, I'm trying to stay in school as well. You know, we have to stay in school because just yeah. to have something to fall back on. Education. You know, education is this. Yeah. Daddy always it's say education key. is the key. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. <laughs> that's, one for you. that's for you, mom. Yeah, that's for you, mom. <laughs> Um, yeah. Now, what is your role uh, when it comes to your own specific style of music? Who is my role model? Yeah. Mm. I have to say the I have two. The would be Akon. Mm. You know, is I look at him like you know he's from Senegal, from he's Africa, and he's you can say pretty much up there in the music industry right now. So he he inspires me every time. Music and off music, it just as a as an artist and as a as a you know entrepreneur, mm. is I look up to him mm. very much. Another person will be my dad. Yeah. You know we have that. Yeah, great. He'll be the one saying, "Do this, don't do that. That's yeah. a bad thing. That's a good thing." You know. Does he it's, sing as well? No, he no. totally not into music. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> totally not into music. Love, yeah. You're, you're but yeah, he's so, that's so, yeah. really matches. Totally. If, you're, if your father, your mom, or your family and friends are there yeah. for you for what you do. Yeah. It is very, it's, very, very important. Support is, you yeah, know, it's vital, isn't it? You need really a good do. foundation, for sure. I know. Mm. Recently, you just re released your first single, I'm Feeling You. Feeling you. Know, first yeah. of all, I know there's a lot of questions in that, but yep. why, first, I want to ask you, why do you give the music, I'm Feeling You? I'm Feeling You. Yeah. Um, it's, it's about the girls. I'm feeling the girl. 
So I'm telling you, I'm feeling you. I'm really <laughs> feeling you. Like, baby. <laughs> Stuff like that, you know. So that's where the name came from. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And 